Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's devotion for August 16th. Today's devotion is titled Big Enough, and the Bible reading is from Luke chapter 18, verses 15 to 17. People were also bringing babies to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. When the disciples saw this, they rebuked them. But Jesus called the children to him and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. My grandson ran to the roller coaster line and stood with his back against the height requirement sign to see if he was big enough to ride. He squealed with joy when his head exceeded the mark. So much of life is about being big enough, isn't it? To move from car seat to seat belt, from the back seat to the front, to take a driver's test, to vote, to get married. Like my grandson, we can spend our lives longing to grow up. In New Testament times, children were loved, but not highly valued in society until they became of age and could contribute to the home and enter the synagogue with adult privileges. Jesus shattered the standards of his day by welcoming the impoverished, the diseased, and even children. Three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Tell of parents bringing little children to Jesus so that he may light, so that he might light, ugh, so that he might lay hands on them and pray for them. The disciples rebuked the adults for what they saw as an inconvenience. At this, Jesus was indignant and opened his arms to the little ones. He evaluated their value in his kingdom and challenged all to become like children themselves to embrace their vulnerability and need for him in order to know him. It's our childlike need that makes us big enough to receive his love. How might you need to remain small in order to know God? And what does his love, the love of a heavenly father, mean to you? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.